What's up everybody, it's your boy Matt from Team Pancakes here, coming at you today with a new deck profile, Dustmane Solgaleo Garboder. Uh, this deck is uh, one uh, has currently been played by Blake from uh, Team Pancakes, and uh, have been doing some test playing with it. The deck seems to be uh, pretty decent, a little bit slow for my taste of Solgaleo, but it does have, when it has a good setup and you get the Garber Toxin Lockdown, the deck can be very hard to deal with, and just being able to take consistent one-shot knockouts with Dustmane Soleo is why the deck can just be really, really good. Shutting off your opponent's abilities while having a backup attacker with Garboder and then just being able to take one-shots with Solgaleo, the deck can be super, super broken when it uh, goes off consistently. Forgive me if I sound a little sick <coughs> um, or if I cough a little bit. I'm kind of getting over a little bit of a, a bacterial uh, infection in my lungs, a respiratory infection, so... I've uh, been on antibiotics. I haven't really felt super well the past couple days, and I've been coughing a lot, so I'll try not to cough too much uh, during the video. But yeah, so today we're looking at Dustmane Solgaleo Garboder. So this is a deck that Blake has been playing for a while, and um, we're going to take a quick look at it. It's going to be very similar to the last deck we did. Like I said, uh, we looked at Dustmane Solgaleo with Metagross, and today we're looking at Dustmane Solgaleo with Garb, and then... Uh, sometime next week, I'm going to try to put a video out of my personal take on Dustmane Solgaleo with the um, Magnazone, uh, de uh, basically being able to um, charge a bunch of metal energy on your Pokemon as fast as possible, and uh, going to take a look at that deck. And there's been some new cards that have uh, come out, as y'all know, Forbidden Light has officially come out as of today. I uh, opened a couple boxes between my wife and I. I didn't really pull a lot of... Um, good stuff out of the box, but we did pull a lot of good items and a lot of good things that we can use to build future decks uh, from the cards from that set. I did get a good amount of the cards on uh, PTCGO today, so I was able to build um, some of the decks that you'll be able to see in the upcoming weeks. We got Zoroark uh, Greninja, so we got Zoro Frogs. We've got a uh, Naganadel Ultra Beast box um, box deck, which is actually I think going to be really cool. Um, we've got uh, Ultra Necrozma GX with Malamar, we've got Zygar GX with Bonnie, uh, we got all sorts of cool decks that are going to be, um, that we're going to be showcasing for you guys, so let's go ahead and jump into this one, as you guys can see our main attacker is going to be this Duskmain Necrozma GX, um, I've been calling him Duskmain Solgaleo just because that's what I'm used to <laughs> calling him, but it's actually Duskmain Necrozma GX, 3 energy cla uh, claw slash for 60, uh, Meteor Tempest, this is going to be our main attack. You know, 220, pretty much going to one-shot anything in the format. Sun's Eclipse, as long as you have uh, more prize cards left than your opponent, for three steel energy, does 250, which pretty much knocks out anything in the format that's relevant. Uh, 190 hit points, so not bad for a basic. So we're running three of him. We're running Registeels. The Turbo Arm attack is going to help set up energy on our Dust Mains while they're on our bench. Uh, 30 is just a really good solid number to be doing damage to our opponent's active uh, Pokemon that they have um, With a choice band being able to do consistently 60 and energy attached for the turn is really good So we're running three Registeels in the deck And with that we're running one Solgaleo Prism Star of course we're using this for the uh, Radiant Star attack so we can get metal energy out of our discard pile um, some uh, decks are going to have a harder time getting energy out than others. Sogaleo Prism is a really good backup for that, and so we are running him in the deck there. Uh, only two Tapu Lele's. Bench space is kind of limited, and two seems to be a fairly uh, decent number, so we're running two Lele there for the Wonder Tag ability. We're running three Acid Spray Trubbish, uh, just so that we can set up our Garboders, which are running two Garbatoxin. This is the ability that shuts off all of the uh, ability... Uh, as long as it has a Pokemon tool attached to it, sorry, I get mixed up with my words. As long as it has a tool attached to it, it shuts off all abilities on both sides except for Garbatoxin. It's just a really good card. And then our backup attacker, especially for those that we're getting when we're going up against, um, you know, like a very fighting heavy meta decks or anything like that, um, then we have Garboder here for the Trash Avalanche. So there you go. So we've got the Garboder here for the Trash and Lance attack. It can come in real handy, especially if they start overplaying um, their item cards. And uh, it just can sometimes get way out of hand in late game. You know, trying to force your opponent to play the seven prize game, Trash and Lance Garboder can be really broken. Um, we're playing two Field Blower to help blow off tools and stadiums that might get pesky, especially Parallel City. 
which is very popular in the meta right now. Four max elixirs so we can get our dust mains equipped with as much energy as possible and as quickly as possible so we can start taking knockouts. We're gonna need one rescue stretcher to get our Pokemon back. One special charge uh, because we are running some special energy in here, this unit energy. And the reason why we're running this is because it can be used as a psychic or a metal energy and all of most of our attackers in here either attack with psychic or metal energy. So this is a really good energy that can be used for both Sogaleo and Garboder. We don't have to worry about having the wrong type of energy at the wrong time. So this kind of helps us filter through that. So that's why Special Charge is in the deck. We have four Ultra Ball to search out, you know, any Pokemon that we need out of our deck after we discard two cards. We have one Acerola for the time, let's say we Meteor Tempest and we discard three energy off the Dusk Main. There might be a time where we need to maybe pick it back up and replace it with something else because it's about to be knocked out. This kind of saves our Pokemon um, from, you know, maybe being a couple uh, hit points away from being knocked out. Ace Roll is a really good um, ace in the hole, you could say, kind of card. So we run one of her. We run two Bridget. Just get our three basics out, usually trying to get uh, anywhere between like a Dust Main or Registeel and a Trubbish, or maybe a couple Trubbishes and a Dusk Main, just depending on what else we have in hand. So we have Bridget to help us set up her bench. We have three Cynthia, of course, for draw support. Run three Guzma for being able to get out of, um, you know, the sticky type of situations if we're stuck or if we need to pull up something on our opponent's bench that they're trying to get powered up. Um, then we can just, um, you know, get that into the active, take the knockout, and can get ahead that way. Uh, running two in and two Sycamore as our other draw supporters. So running more primarily account of Cynthia, uh, just because we don't really have a draw engine for this deck as far as like an Orangaroo or an Octillery, so we don't really want to have to end ourselves late game, especially if Garboder is active, because then that's just going to hurt us in the long run. Because what I see a lot of players do sometimes is they'll equip a tool to Garboder, and they'll may have a draw supporter, but then if they get end late in the game, and then their Garboder still has a tool attached to it, and they draw into a Lele, they go to play the Lele for the draw supporter, they go to use the Wonder Tag ability, can't do it. So, that's, uh, I've done it, I've seen other players do it, it's just something you forget about, you know, in the mix and flow of things, and it's like, oh wait, I shut off all abilities, I can't do that. Then you get stuck, and then sometimes your opponent can come back from behind and win, so, uh, not really um, good to do that, so that's why we're running more Cynthia's there. Um, we're running two Fighting Fury Belt, to give our basics 40 more hit points, and do 10 extra damage because most of the Pokemon in here we're running our basics, especially the ones that are going to be mainly attacking, which is Dustmane or Registeel. And we're running four Floatstone because we have a lot of heavy retreat Pokemon in here. Registeel's three retreat, Dustmane's three retreat, the Garboders are three or four retreats. So everything in here costs a lot of energy, and if we get low on Guzmas, we need ways to retreat, and we need tools for Garbatoxin to go off. So that's why we have Floatstone in the deck. So we're on four Floatstone, we're on three unit energy and uh, 10 metal energy. So that's gonna be the list. We're gonna go ahead and save this guy. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the ladder real quick, play a few games and see um, how we can do. Now I will say that we'll probably play against some uh, new decks today. Cause like I said, the new cards just became legal to play with online. So we will probably play against stuff that we don't know what the matchup's necessarily gonna be like, but we'll just take it in stride. And just do the best we can do and see what kind of cool decks people are building now with these new cards from Forbidden Light. Okay. So we have Psychic, Colorless, for Psychic Metal. So this might be probably Espeon Garb. Or I'm not exactly sure what it is. That would just be my initial guess. So uh, J, J Tot Hat, I guess is his name or something like that. So... All right, here we go. Okay, not a bad hand. We'll start Dust Main. That's fine. <coughs> All right. We have a Bridget. We have a Sycamore to follow up for that turn. So, so far, our hand's not looking too terrible. And they start a Trubbish. All right, it's going to Wonder Tag. I'm going to guess probably for the Bridget to maybe get two Eevees and another Trubbish. If that is what he's playing, if he's playing Espeon Garb, I don't know. Okay, he's gonna bridge it there. Now yeah, let's see what he gets. I would guess maybe two Eevees and a Trubbish, or maybe an Eevee. 
Two more trebuches. What is that there? Noibat. Oh my goodness, is this Noivern Garb? No, Noivern's a, a multiple tie. We would have seen that, I think. Alright, let's go ahead and play down this there. Let's go ahead and use Bridget. Let's get maybe two trebuches and a Registeel. Check our prizes. Okay, so we have Garbs in there. We have a Max Elixir prized. Uh, we have an Ultra Ball prized. Okay. They have all four float stone. Okay, so our prizes aren't terrible. So we'll go ahead and play those there. Um, I hate to... Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put the energy here on Registeel, and then we're just going to pass. Because right now I'm not going to be able to get enough turns to be able to get enough energy on Dustmane Necrozma to be able to do that. So, okay, Parallel City. Um, not a card I like to see. Let's go ahead and get rid of a Trubbish. You can always get that back later. Okay, so he's got Garbatoxin online. Or not Garbatoxin, but uh, can't think of it. Trash Lange. <coughs> since I've been sick, my brain's been. Okay, Stomp Off. And we milled our Garbatoxin. Okay. That's fine. Um. Well, I guess we'll just go ahead and, um, I mean, we could, yeah, we might as well just go ahead and attach there, and just go ahead and Sycamore. There's really nothing else we can do. So, let's we'll see what we draw into. Okay, Float Stone. That's fine. Um, go ahead and hit Max Elixir, maybe. Sweet. Perfect. Okay. We'll go there with it. We'll go ahead and retreat into the red steel. Do we want to stretch or anything back yet? No, probably not. It's because we can't really do anything about it as long as Parallel City's on the bench. So we'll hit for 30. We'll take an energy and we'll attach to the one that doesn't have the float stone. It's more of a threat if he tries to Guzma it up, if it, he's trying to get it stuck. He's probably going to stomp off again, I would imagine. Unless he has something else he wants to do. Okay, here's another Trash Lance. Gotta keep track of how many items we're playing. So far we've only played one, so... There's a Cynthia. Stomp off, that's fine. Okay, another in the discard. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and... He actually helped us by milling that. Let's go ahead and get rid of how many Guzmas have we gotten rid of so far? None. Alright, let's go ahead and get the Trubbish in the Guzma. We'll just go ahead. I don't think ability is gonna to be too big this game, so we'll just go ahead and get our own trash of lanch garb. Put it there. Um I don't think he's played a lot of yeah, he hasn't played any items yet. Um we'll go ahead and put this energy here. And then we'll just go ahead and end. I'm not going to stretch her yet. Because I want to keep our deck thinned enough. Okay, there's a field blower. That's perfect. So we're going to field... Well, should we field blower the Parallel City? Do we need to? I don't think we do, actually. I think we wait for that. So, that has 70 HP. If I attach a Fury Belt to the Registeel, we can actually go ahead and take a knockout. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to attach here. I'm going to take a knockout. Turbo Arm. Boosh. Take that. Put an energy onto one of our Necrozmas. And there we go. The first prize taken. And we get a Lele. Okay. Let's see what our opponent does. So as of right now, we have two items in the discard pile. And luckily enough for us, Steel actually resists Psychic. Okay, he's going to counter catch her. That's fine. Must be really stuck. What did that just do? Reveals cards, discard all item cards. Wow, I did not realize that's what he did. Okay, well, if I had known that, I probably would have field blower last turn. Um, okay, well, that was interesting. Uh, all we can really do right now is Sycamore. 
Okay, I did not realize that that's... Okay, I can see now why he would want to pair that with Garboder. That's really good. Um, we can actually just go ahead and knock this out. We can put a float stone on the Trash Lanch Garb, bring up Necrozma, and do a knockout that way. So I think this is probably the play this turn, I would imagine. So, um, we'll go ahead and put this one up with the float stone, and we'll claw slash for the knockout. Put him in an interesting situation. Okay, I didn't know that's what Noibat did. I probably should have read the card. That was my bad. Hope we hit our other field blower sometime so we can actually see two, four, six, eight. So he can do 80 damage to us right now. The trash lynch. See what he does. Choice band. Okay, so he's doing 100 to us right now. Ultra Ball, probably gonna go get another Lele for a draw supporter, I would imagine. He's gonna do a lot of damage to our Necrozma. And then we're gonna knock out his Lele. Oh, Oranguru, okay, so he's gonna use Oranguru to draw. That's fine. We're gonna instruct for one, yep. Okay. Did he get anything off the instruct? Is he stuck? Enhanced Hammer, yeah, that'll definitely set us back, unfortunately. Yeah, wow, alright, so he sequenced his hand perfectly. I'm very happy for him. <laughs> okay, well. Energy Drive for the knockout, or not for the knockout, but for a ton of damage. <laughs> okay, well, um. <sighs> a pickle that we are in, folks. Um. Probably just retreat into the Registeel or retreat into the Necrozma. We can actually just go ahead and take a knockout. So let's go ahead and retreat into here. Let's go ahead and attach energy here. We'll max elixir. Put an energy on here so that we can knock out or threaten to knock out for later turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see, he's at... I don't know if I want to end this down to four. But, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and play in. I don't know what he has in his hand. Yes, I understand fewer cards. That's fine. And what are we drawing to? Guzma, that, that. Okay. So it's not horrible. We can work with it. It's not the best. Uh, another Max Elixir? Wow, we hit all Max Elixir so far, I think. So we'll go ahead and attach there, and then we will go ahead and Meteor Tempest for the knockout. Going down to two prizes, and now we're going to have to take these last two somehow, which I think might be a little difficult. So we get a Fury Belt and a Max Elixir, okay. If he places down another GX, we can Guzma for game unless he gets rid of our Necrozma on the bench. Okay, there's Lele. Is he gonna end us down to two? If he does, that would be probably the right play. Oh no, he's gonna Guzma knock us out. That's a better play. <laughs> it's a much better play. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Yeah, he's gonna knock us out. That's okay. He's gonna go down to four. Steel blower, okay. It's fine. How many item cards has he played? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So he's doing one forty right now with Garbo or with the Garboder. Energy drive. Yeah, um, I don't think we can knock out anything on our turn. Let's go ahead and put up the Registeel. Hmm, we can actually knock out the Garboda that's on the bench. I think that's the play, actually. So we go here. 
And then we goose mump the garb that has a choice band on it. And then we go ahead and play down that dude there, this dude here, Max Elixir. Yeah, I was gonna be really shocked if we actually hit that, so that's fine. I'm gonna trash a Lynch. Wish I could have ended him there, but that's okay. Let me take that card there. Okay, it's not really helpful. If we could draw into like a Sycamore or something, that would be really great. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 200. Okay, so yeah, so you can one shot pretty much everything right now there. Need to get our Registeel up. Hope he doesn't have a way to goose him around. We need to draw into something decent. Okay, he's gonna end us down to one. Let's see what we get. He entered energy. All right. Then trash Lynch for the knockout. Okay. Um. Guess we could put up the Prism Star and do that so I guess, I guess let's just go ahead and prism star and just try to get that up, try to get that out that way okay so we'll radiant star we'll go three energy we'll put it on our necrozma and if he has guzma in hand that's probably gonna be if he has guzma field blower he has game Well, not game, but he'll knock out her one big attacker. So, his deck kind of had a slow start, but I did not realize what that Noibat did. I do now, though. <laughs> I sure as heck do now. Really need to draw into something on our turn. Okay, here's another Noibat. Mm. DCE to the Noibat. What is he gonna do? Choice ban, okay, that's fine. Sycamore, oh man, of course, Sycamore, alright, well. It's not going to Guzma, so that's a thing. He's probably going to try to retreat this. Okay, Enhanced Hammer, that's fine. Float Stone, yeah, he's going to retreat this Garboder and put up the Noibat and discard her. Yep, that's going to be the play there. Well, the Field Blower don't really get us there too much. Um, you have to pass. We're stuck. We are now stuck like glue. Elmer's glue. Hopefully we can get unstuck, but if he has Guzma, this is really gonna set us back. So I'm pretty sure even with resistance and a Fury Bell, he still might have enough. All right, so there's a Rangaroo for some resource management, possibly to help with the mill decks. Another choice ban, just thinning out his hand. It's an Ultra Ball, it's fine. He's gonna go get another Lele for a Guzma. We'll see. I would guess, oh, okay, another Trubbish. He may not have another. And then I'll probably have a Sycamore in his hand left or something like that that he's done for like the past. Okay, he's gonna instruct for two. Man, how many Floatstone have we gone through? Gone through two. Oh, and there's a stretcher that doesn't help. Actually, wait, does it? Can we just stretcher for Lele for Guzma? I sure hope we have one in the deck. Stretcher. Uh, Lele. This could be big depending on what we have. Lele, Wonder Tag. For my boy Guzma, there's the game. <laughs> That's gonna be game. All right. Uh, what do we want to knock out? Then yeah, let's knock out. Yep. There we go. There's a victory. Wow. So he's got us stuck for a little bit, and then we came back and took it. So 
Um, interesting deck with the Noibat for the discarding and the Trash Lanch. That was interesting for sure. But um, probably it was a little bit more narrow than what it should have been. But technically that was still a really good game. Stretcher came through. MVP. Um, so yeah, there you go. Trash Lanch Garboder helping. Necrozma taking some knockouts. Ooh, my blood pressure's up after that game. So, All right, well, let's go on to game number two. Let's see if we can take that one, see what we'll be playing up against. That was a very interesting deck. Just played against. Let's see. Uh Fairy Dark Lightning Strangers. It's the name. I have no clue what this deck is off the top of my head. So I'm hoping it will be interesting. Well, I lost the coin flip. <coughs> okay. Oh, but I think he let me go first. I don't know. I think that's what that said. Opponent oh, had no basic. So let's go ahead and put down the Registeel. Let's put that down. I'm going to go ahead and keep the other Registeel in my hands so I can use it for Ultra Ball fodder to get rid of the Steel Energy so that I can accelerate with it later. Um, yep. Okay. Oh, is this Sylveon? Oh, of course it's Sylveon. Wow, six Mulligans, okay. Well... Sylveon can definitely be a pain. I'm not necessarily happy about this matchup. And I'm guessing that it's playing Zerkatry maybe because of the lightning. Yes, I'll draw six. Sure. I'm done. Okay, we're going first. We're going to Ultra Ball, discarding the Registeel and the Steel Energy. Probably to go get a Lele to set up with Bridget. Okay, Lele. Bridget's there. Okay, we'll take a look at her deck in just a second. We need our prizes under there. So I'm going to go probably grab another Trubbish and two Necrozmas, I think. I think that's going to be the correct play. We need to get this Hoopa offline. So we've got another Trubbish, Necrozma, and Necrozma. Okay. Um... I don't think we should attach any energy right now because he's probably just going to enhance hammer or team flare to run it off. And we can't attack anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and end our turn. If he wants to end us, that's fine. I'll leave that up to him. Eevee, fairy, energy evolution. Okay, so he's playing, I'm guessing, Hoopa and Zerka Tree with Sylveon. That would be my guess. And the fairy and normal types are the Eevee and the Sylveon, so... We'll see, this might be similar to Yoshi's list that he used a couple regionals back. But I think he was playing Waylord. Some type of Waylord stall, not Sylveon, but kind of the same premise. Okay, Nest Ball. He takes some more medicine. Started to not feel too well, but we'll go ahead and keep playing. Oh, wow, Ralts. Okay, so he plays Gardevoir. That's definitely good to know. Um, alright, so let's go ahead and get tr uh, Trash Lanch Garboder. Let's go ahead and get... What do we want to get rid of? Can we Sycamore everything? Can we play everything here? I think we can. Should we, though? I mean, he has only, only has four cards. Let's just go ahead and get rid of the Blower and the Sycamore. Let's go ahead and grab Garbatoxin. We need to grab... We need to thin out our deck before we max Elixir here. So there we go there. Um, go ahead and put the Fury Belt there. The Max Elixir, see if we can hit anything. We do. Boom. There's that. Special Energy is probably going to get E Hammered away or Flare Grunted away, but we'll go ahead and attach it just so we can get our first attack off. Okay. Um. Go ahead and max elixir again. Okay, perfect. We hit. And we'll take that on to our second one. Do we have any energy in the discard pile? Metal energy? We do have that. So let's just go ahead and Ultra Ball, discarding that, and the other Trash of Lanch Garb for. Um, we'll go ahead and get another Lele in case he blows off the Float Stone from this guy. And we'll go ahead and Float Stone the Garb. Shotting off abilities, and we'll go ahead and turbo arm for 40. And we'll attach energy to one of our Dustman Necrozmas. Alright, there we go. 
pretty decent turn two. Uh, but we are going up against Sylveon, and I do have my reservations about that. I'm not really good playing against Sylveon. I don't have a ton of experience against the deck, so... Although the fact that Sylveon's weak to steel does help, I think. All right, so we're going to Magical Ribbon. That's fine. Still have all of our ends in the deck. Be cool if we could top deck into one. But we shall see. I'm going to guess Mass Energy Removal is what our opponent's going to go get. If I had to guess, that's what I would think. Okay, top deck and energy, that's fine. We'll go here. We'll turbo arm for 80 damage. And we'll attach another energy here. And then we'll just pass and hope we can draw and do another draw supporter soon. Probably got rare candy Gardevoir, I would imagine. I'd be shocked if they didn't. Yeah, there's rare candy Gardevoir. Maybe a field blower so that they can secret spring. Okay, nest ball, probably just thinning out their deck. Yeah, there's a navy. Don't have any abilities yet though. So energy evolution would not work. Team flare grunt, yeah, I knew that was coming. Okay, and they're gonna magical ribbon again. All right, so we need to top deck something decent. Need to top deck something decent. Retrospect probably wouldn't have put the Fury Bell on the Registeel. I just wanted to do more damage because I was getting greedy. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, in retrospect, probably should have waited and put a float stone there, but that's okay. We got a we got a swole Registeel right now, so you can take some hits if need be. One thing I hope they don't do is like parallel Sidious and then maybe plea. That would really hurt. Yeah, and there's the float stone. That's kind of a pain. Alright, well we're just gonna pass. This is the main problem of the deck, it's kind of like the mid-range area, it's hard to get stuff going, you can easily fall behind. There's the Parallel City I was worried about, so let's get rid of that, gosh. Let's get rid of this. I smell a Plea GX coming for our opponent, okay, never mind, he's detached return. Oh man, oh man. That was painful. Okay, I fall into Sylvie on there. Surprised he hasn't gone to go get a max potion yet. Okay. Lusamine getting back Flare Grunt and Acerola. That's going to be annoying. And Magical Ribbon. I mean, if we could top deck an Aaron. Or not even an Aaron, but just a, a Field Blower. So we get Claw Slash for the knockout. Something. See if we've already gone through a field. Yeah, we've already gone through one field blower, so. Well, that's something, I guess, but I know if I. Let's see, do we have. We still have energy in the discard pile, right? Yeah, or no, we don't have any steel in the discard pile. So if we. You can just team flare grunt that off. Um. Wow, this is annoying being stuck like this. Um. We could do plenty of damage to the Sylveon, but he can probably just heal it. I would imagine. I think we got rid of our special charge earlier, didn't we? No, we didn't. Alright, well. YOLO, let's just go ahead and attach. We'll turbo arm for 80. We'll pressure him to heal it. Or, well, he's got the Ace of Roll in hand. That was stupid. I knew better than that. I knew better than that. Yeah, there's Team Rocket's handiwork. Two heads. Of course, there's four cards gone. And a Cynthia was in there. That's perfect. Max Potion, of course, sure. Energy, Magical Ribbon. Mm. I would like to hit a good card off the top, please. This is why I don't like Sylveon, because <laughs> the deck is just really annoying to play against. Especially people that are good and know how to play it properly. <sighs> man, oh man. Alright. Cool. That does nothing. Turbo arm. 80 damage. Your turn, Sylveon player. Mr. Strangers 3. With all the cards in his hand for days. Hmm. 
What's gonna happen when the pretty Sylveon goes and grabs more cards because the deck is busted? Here's a full art Lusamine. It's a pretty card. And to go get Lusamine or handiwork. Alright, so this is gonna be the chain going on right now. Get supporters, energy to Sylveon, magical ribbon. Man, if we weren't stuck, we could have taken some knockouts. We got stuck, y'all. We got Elmer's glued again. We need to try to get out of this situation right now. I'm guessing she's gonna go get a max potion because I'll be threatening a knockout after next turn. <coughs> Man, handiwork though. Two heads. I figured that's probably how it was gonna happen. Always have real bad luck against handiwork. That's cool. That does not help us at all. So as we continue to just draw into our Pokemon that do absolutely nothing, we will just keep turbo arming this Sylveon in the face. And our opponent will have a million cards in hand. And we'll have an answer for everything. Yep, that's kind of where we're at right now. There's handiwork. I'm going to flip two heads again. Sure, why not? I just mill four. That's fine. Just hit all the heads on the handiwork. Oh, double puzzle. That's... <laughs> oh, man. Our uh, opponent's going super aggro right now. All right. Max potion and handiwork. That seems fair. Sure. Max potion. I'm going to heal. Discard the energy. He's going to soup it up with another energy. Magical ribbon again and probably pat himself on the back. So... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not upset or anything. I just this is this is a Sylveon deck, and it's not the most fun thing to play against. And uh, it's kind of a it's not a hard matchup for this deck. It's just this deck I think is a little bit on the slower side. And if Sylveon can get set up and you get stuck like we have for the past four turns, then it's I don't think it's really winnable. But we'll go ahead and play it out and see maybe if we top deck into something, get a real big juicy in or something. I don't know something decent. Or a Guzma. What does Guzma do? Guzma. What does Guzma do? Guzma gets Sylveon, but then he heals. He probably has a. Mm. What do we do? You gotta start taking some knockouts. Um, I mean, okay, let's go ahead and threaten this Sylveon, just get this Registeel out of the active, we'll do 120, oh, it's not what I want to do, and he's just going to continue to heal and get handiwork and probably just keep flipping heads to mill us out, I would imagine that would be the strategy he's going for. I think he can pretty much loop right now what he wants. Oh, that's good. DCE, that's what I wanted to see. So if he has a choice band or something to put on that, we're the Necrozma's dead. Possibly. Possibly. Okay, Acerola. Almost positive we're dead now. So what happens when I forget for bringing up the Dust Main? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I was going to bring up the, the Guardi. Okay, is Eevee going down? Is he going to Magical Ribbon again? Man, top deck into an energy. I'd love that right now. Or something. A draw supporter into an energy or something. A field blower. Yeah. If we could top deck an N and then N into like a field blower and an energy, that would be amazing. Or something. Our opponent has half his deck in his hand. All right, well, there's a special recharge. Does that get us really anything? How many of our special energies are we down? Just the one? Um, <laughs> man, that's, I don't really want to shuffle that in right now, so let's go ahead and claw slash for 120. Mm. I don't know how we haven't drawn to those cards yet. I mean, I know we've milled a few good ones, but man. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Okay, so now it knocks out our Necrozma. Yep, that's fine. There's no way we're winning this anyways. That's slightly annoying. 
Infinite Force, yes, we see you. Put up Garboder. Hmm. Um. What do we even do here? I guess all we can really do is just retreat. Hey, how many items does he have in his discard? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Oh, he hasn't even really played that much. Well, we're going in with Registeel. Can't play in, can't play the Lele because of the garb. Let's Turbo Arm. Team. Please don't have a way to Guzma up my Necrozma and then retreat and knock it out with a Gardevoir. That would not be nice. Enhanced Hammer. Hits. Why Why would it not hit? I mean, or not Enhanced Hammer, Crushing Hammer. Why wouldn't Hammer hit? I mean, he's already flipped. Okay. So, heads? Okay. Wow, I was actually disappointed that didn't flip heads. Okay, Enhanced Hammer, that's fine. Just get rid of everything now since you have all the answers. This guy flipping heads for days. I don't even know. Jeez. Okay. Well, there's handy work for two heads, right? No oh, tails and heads. Cool. There goes the end and the Cynthia. Both draw supporters. We needed to get out of this. Yay! This is fun. 120. Okay. What are we drawing into? And we draw into a metal energy. That's fun. So let's go ahead and not be able to do what I actually want to do. So by Guzma, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Yeah, he can just knock out the... Oh, man, I wish we had a way to retreat that red to steel. What's the possibility of him having a Guzma in hand? Because even if we knock out the Sylveon, he can just come right back. <sighs> Done. If he has a way to pull up the Necrozma, we're beat anyway, so it doesn't matter even if we take two prizes at this point. Crushing Hammer, sure. <laughs> Why not? Just go ahead. Okay, two for three on Crushing Hammers. That's fine. Double puzzle, I'm guessing, to get back all of his broken stuff. Yep, there's another. Might as well flip heads on this Crushing Hammer too, buddy. Okay, here's handiwork. Heads. Oh wow, look at that. Build another four cards. That's fun. And there's a crushing hammer for heads. Nope. Okay, well. This has been a fun game. Very unwinnable. Because of being stuck for five plus turns. Infinite force, okay. Well, we didn't get this one. We probably could have if we'd gotten set up a little bit better, but um, fortunately he mailed all the right stuff and flipped all the heads. And when that happens, there's nothing you can do. I don't care how good of a player you are. Um, there's literally not much you can do. And right now, we can't do lickety split. So... <sighs> Special charge. Right on that. Right on that. Trying to trying to do something. We have a couple float stones in our hands, so we we can knock this out. Might be able to take a knock. We might be able to take okay, there's a Guzma. I'm sure he has to have a way to retreat. Yep. Okay. Oh, man. There you guys have it. A fairy deck taking all of its prizes before we even get one against the steel deck. Okay, here's a field blower. So now he has abilities. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So he just needs to attach one energy. Or choice man. Yep, there's a secret spring. Wow, wow, wow. How about that? 
3, 6, 9, 12, 15. We can just knock out anything we put up there. Um, I don't even know how much fairy energy is he down. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Well, let me put this up there. And we'll Guzma up the Sylveon. Put this there. Attach, attach, and we'll Radiant Star, playing it till the end. But I'm sure he already has an answer in his hand to be able to do whatever he needs to do to win on his turn. So we played the best we could with what we were dealt. Our opponent just happened to get the coin flips he needed and we just got stalled out. So, which happens. It happens with the deck sometimes. Okay, Enhanced Hammer. Yep. Lusamine. Okay. Handy work so he can seal the game up next turn, I'm sure. And Magical Ribbon, I would imagine. He goes at 10 cards. Left in the deck. Let's see. Yeah, we still have a Guzma left in the deck, but I doubt we're going to be able to draw into it when we need it. Steel energy. So if we even take out a knockout on the Sylveon, we're dead to the Guard of War. <sighs> well, I guess it's been a good game, so we'll just go ahead and float stone. We'll go ahead and retreat. We'll say well played to our opponent because it technically was. All right, there's our one knockout. <laughs> our one knockout of the game. 500 damage. Take our two prizes. Two metal energy. All right. So out of the ten we run, we had two prized. And then he just has the knockout. Yeah, there's not much we can do. All right, and that'll be the game. There's Sylveon Gardevoir for you. So... All right, matchup was technically in our favor, but we got stuck for about four or five turns, and our opponent was just able to gather all of his resources and get all the coin flips. So, and that happens, you know. Sometimes it's just, you know, how how the cookie crumbles. It's how it crumbled for us that game. So we'll play our last game, game three. I'm going a little bit long in this video, but that's okay. All right, so this is Buzzball like in Rock. I'm almost positive, or um, maybe. No, it has to be Buzzwell Lycan Rock. Or maybe Zygarde. I don't know. Poker Kid Keith. That's who we're playing against. This will definitely be an interesting matchup for sure. Okay. Um, I kind of think we just sick it more here so we can get a really good starting hand. Okay. A uh, Passimian. Really? Okay, well, this is going to be another hard deck for us to go up against because now we have to take one prizes. Um, Trubbish. Let's go ahead and grab a Trubbish. No, not that. A Registeel and an Acrosma. Let's put this here. Let's go ahead and I don't really want to get rid of the other Garber Toxin. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get rid of those two. Put down another Necrozma. GX. And then we'll go ahead and we'll Cynthia for next turn. Oh, I should have kept the Sycamore. Forgot I bridged it already this turn. That was a misplay. Oh well. Nest Ball for another Pasimian, I would imagine. Maybe for the, the attacker. Yeah, the one that attacks. Team play. DCE. Float Stone. Okay, so so far they've Gladian. To get the other Passimian that they're missing, maybe. If they prized it. Oh, 
All right, and there's the team play. Send up Registeel. Put down that, and put down the energy, and Cynthia. And we get a bunch of energy and stuff that's not really super helpful. We get another Necrozma. We don't, ma we don't hit the Max Elixir. Um, let's just go ahead and float stone to shut off abilities. And we'll turbo arm, 430, and nothing else. We still have a stretcher. Yeah, we still have a stretcher. I'll probably just sick more of this hand away. Or I'll attach an energy and then sick him more away. Okay, there's the other Pissimian, so he's got his full squad up right now. Choice band, okay, sick him more. Nest ball, probably for a Remorade, I would imagine. Yep. Probably similar to my Pissimian list, so. <clears throat> so Pissimian will be doing 100 against our Registeel. Energy Lotto, nothing. Oh, that's not a card I want to see. Especially when we're playing this deck. That's pretty bad. Alright, so we'll go ahead and attach there. And we'll... I don't know if we can actually Brooklyn Hill for anything, but we'll just go ahead and look. Okay. We'll just go ahead and sick them more. Um... Don't really get much. We'll go ahead and max elixir, attach it to there. And then we'll turbo arm. Doing another 30. And we'll attach to this Necrozma there. Because when he knocks out the Registeel, we'll be able to Sun's Eclipse. For the return KO, although that's not what I want to do. That's pretty much what we have to do at this point. Um, I'd like to bridge it for a couple more Trubbishes if possible. Because these guys are weak to Psychic, and Trash the Lance is really good in a deck that plays a ton of item cards, which so far he's only played three. Ultra Ball, try to go get the Octillery so he can Abyssal Hand to draw some cards. Okay. I'm going to play the Octillery. I'm going to play his hand out so he can draw, or he might just go ahead and draw now. Okay, he's going to end. That's fine. I kind of liked what was in her hand, but I'll, I'll take it. Could have been worse. This hand's okay. Energy Lotto to find another DCE. Or a counter energy for Pseudo Wudo. If he plays that card like I do in mine. Okay, nothing. Probably only plays a 2-3 to three Energy Lotto, I would imagine. That's two gone right now. So he's going to go for team play. I would really like to take out that artillery if possible. Because that's going to be a huge part of his deck. Um, okay. So actually, I can go here. And then I can go there. I can do this. And then I can end. I'm actually going to Claw Slash for the knockout instead of Sun's Eclipse. I think. I think it's going to be the plan. Really would have liked to have gotten another Trubbish out. Alright, put that there. And we'll go ahead and Claw Slash for knockout. And we'll probably have a stretcher or something. Or something to reciprocate with. So, Alright, and we draw into an Ultra Ball. So that can actually help us go get our Trubbish next turn. Which is what I think we'll do. So he's probably going to stretch her. There's some way to get the Pissimian back on the bench. DCE, retreat. Hit us. Um, I doubt he watches and learns with the pseudo Uda here, plus counter energy wouldn't work for him right now anyway, because we're actually behind on prizes. So, Pissimian got two quick knockouts. I would really like to knock out that artillery and really set him back for the draw power. So I think if we do that... 
I'm just really scared of the pseudo Udo with the counter energy, so that's probably why Octillery should be our next target. But right now we're Garbatoxin and we don't have a way to Guzma unless we just draw into it. So what will our opponent do? What will our opponent do? <coughs> Voice is starting to get raspy even talking along. Okay, you didn't do anything. That is an interesting move, I guess. Um, we'll go ahead and Ultra Ball away these two. Let's go grab a... Oh, we don't have any Trubbish? What? Did we prize a Trubbish? We prized a Trubbish, guys. Oh my goodness. Well, let's just go grab a Registeel, thin her deck out, I guess. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, let's go ahead and attach here. And we'll Cynthia. Let's set up a Guzma for next turn, maybe. No, that won't really do it right there. Um, Alright, well, we'll, uh, I guess, Sun's Eclipse for the knockout. This is going to be hard taking all these prizes. And there's a stretcher to get back a Trubbish. Ooh, that could be fun. Get our Trubbish back. Maybe we shall see. Hope my opponent didn't time out. It's kind of taking some... Might just be... Oh, and there's a victory. Alright, so he knew that we were pretty much set up. We were going to be able to take consistent knockouts, and he couldn't really get a ton set up right there. So, Alright, well, there you guys have it. That was Dustmane Necrozma. Almost said Solgaleo. Dustmane Necrozma uh, Garboder. And y'all saw how Ability Lock helped us there. Um, not as much as against uh, certain other decks, but because uh, we played against some weird stuff. Uh, especially that Sylveon deck. That was just a rough matchup. Um, but there you guys have it. That's Blake's Dustmane Sol... Uh, Dust, uh, let's see, I almost said it again. That's uh, Blake's Dustmane Necrozma Garboder deck. So y'all have been able to uh, kind of see how the deck works. Um, it's a little bit slower uh, pace with the setup, but if you hit the Max Elixirs, the deck can actually come out really fast and it can come out swinging really hard after your opponent gets set up on turn two. Um, especially with a lot of stage one decks and connect can actually really throw uh, a wrench uh, in the gears of what ma makes their deck work so um, yeah so that's going to be it for me guys I'll be posting this video uh, sometime this weekend uh, stay tuned uh, for um, some newer videos we're doing I'm actually going to be doing an unboxing of some forbidden light and might be having some other members of the team unboxing those packs with us so that'll be fun and uh, make sure y'all stick around don't forget to like comment subscribe and check out our Facebook page, uh, Team Pancakes TCG, and uh, I will see y'all later.